Dhammasena sada nirasta kukam satyam param dhimahi Dhammasena sada nirasta kukam satyam param dhimahi Dhammari asyayato anyar sarasta tuchu avijya svarat Janamadi yasthayato anyar sarasta tuchu avijya svarat Yene brahma hidaya adi karaye muyanti atturaya ha. Yene brahma hidaya adi karaye muyanti atturaya ha. Teyo bari mitam yasa vilayo yasa chitta dom yasa. Teja bari mitam yasa vilayo yasa chitta dom yasa. Samna sena sada nirasta kutam satyam param. Any guard? Then Maria said that the woman may have a better job. He's living just a lot. Tene Brahma Raja Adhikavai Muyantiya Suraya Tene Brahma Raja Adhikavai Muyantiya Suraya Tejo Vadi Midana Jatha Vinimayu Jatrati Sargam Mita Dhamnasi Dhamnasi Dhasada Jatta Pahokam Satyam Param Dhimayi Any other girl? Janamadi Yasta Jatu Annaya Sitara Tasha Teshu Yavinya Svarat Tene Brahma Vidaja Yadikavai Muyanti Yasu Tejo Vari Midam Jatha Jani Mano Jatta Sitar Dham Misha Dhamna Sena Sada Nirasta Kukum Satyam Param Dhimani Dhamna Sena Sada Nirasta Kukum Satyam Param Dhimani Vag meaning? Om. Om. Om my Lord. Om my Lord. Namaha. Namaha. Offering my obeisances. Offering my obeisances. Bhagavate. Bhagavate. Unto the personality of Godhead. Unto the personality of Godhead. Vasudevaya. Vasudevaya. Unto Vasudeva. Unto Vasudeva. The son of Vasudeva. The son of Vasudeva. Or Lord Sri Krishna, the primitive Lord. Jamadi, Jamadi, creation, sustenance, and destruction. Creation, sustenance, and destruction. Asya, Asya, of the manifested universes. Of the manifested universes. Jataha, Jataha, from whom? From whom? Anvayat, Anvayat, directly. Directly. Itarata, Itarata, indirectly. Indirectly. Cha, Cha, and. Arteshu, Arteshu, purposes, purposes, Abhigya, Abhigya, fully cognizant, fully cognizant, Swarat, Swarat, fully independent, fully independent, Tene, imparted, imparted, Brahma, Brahma, the Vedic knowledge, the Vedic knowledge, Vida, Vida, consciousness of the heart, consciousness of the heart. Yaha, one who, Adi Kavaye, unto the original created being, 
Mugyanti. Mugyanti. Are illusions. Are illusions. Yes. Yes. About whom? About whom? Suraya. Sura. Great sages and demigods. Great sages and demigods. Eja. Eja. Fire. Fire. Vari. Vari. Water. Water. Midam. Midam. Earth. Earth. Gata. Gata. As much as. As much as. Vinimaya. Vinimaya. Action and reaction. Action and reaction. Yatra. Yatra. Whereupon. Whereupon. Three sarga. Three sarga. Three modes of creation. Three modes of creation. Modes of creation. Creative faculties. Creative faculties. Omrisha. Omrisha. Almost factual. Almost factual. Dhamna. Dhamna. Along with all transcendental paraphernalia. Along with all transcendental paraphernalia. Svena. Svena. Self-sufficiently. Self-sufficiently. Sada. Sada. Always. Always. Nirasta. Nirasta. Negation by absence. Negation by absence. Kohakam. Kohakam. Illusion. Illusion. Satyam. Satyam. Truth. Truth. Param. Param. Absolute. Absolute. Dhimahe. Dhimahe. I do meditate upon. I do meditate upon. Translation. I offer my obeisances unto Lord Sri Krishna, the son of Vasudeva, who is the supreme, all-pervading personality of Godhead. I meditate, meditate upon him, the transcendent reality, who is the primable cause of all causes, from whom all manifested universes arise, in whom they dwell, and by whom they are destroyed. I meditate upon that eternally effulgent Lord, who is directly and indirectly conscious of all manifestations, and yet is beyond them. It is he only who first imparted Vedic knowledge unto the heart of Brahma, the first created being. Through him this world, like a mirage, appears real even to great sages and demigods. Because of him the material universes, created by the three modes of nature, appear to be factual, although they are unreal. I therefore, I meditate therefore upon him, the absolute truth, who is eternally existent in his transcendental abode, and who is forever free of illusion. That then is offering his obeisances <coughs> unto the Supreme Lord Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva. Bhagavate unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is uh, known as Vasudeva. Vasudeva means the son of Vasudeva. Even the leader of the impersonalist, namely Shankaracharya, he has accepted that the Supreme Personality of Godhead appeared as the son of Vasudeva and Devaki. People may not misunderstand. Just like we give identification by giving the name of father, mother. Uh, similarly, Krishna's identification is that he is son of Vasudeva or son of Nanda Maharaj, friend of Siddham Sudham, lover of Radharani. In so many ways he has got hundreds and thousands of names. So people who protest that God cannot have any name, uh, they say that God cannot have any name. Yes, we agree to that. God cannot have any name. Or God has so many names, how he will address him? The Shastra says that he has got many names, but the chief name is Krishna. In the Atharva, Veda, it is said, uh, <coughs> Krishna and the son of Devaki Vasudeva. Those who are 
uh, very much strict to understand everything on the evidence of Veda, Srila Jiva Goswami has given them quotation from Veda. So in the Veda, Krishna's name is there, his father's name is there, like that. So God's name, actually there is no God's name, there is name, but he has got so many names. Uh, his name is uh, given according to his pastime. It's like according, it has got meaning. You cannot give any name to God without hearing any meaning. That is the Vedic significance. When we say Krishna, name of God, that means He is all attractive. All attractive means He is not only attractive to the devotees, but to the non-devotees also. It is not that Krishna is one-sided. He is attractive to the devotees. No. To the non-devotees also. Uh, just like Kamsa. Kamsa was also attracted by Krishna. Uh, he was attracted uh, to Krishna uh, as enemy. There are two kinds of attraction. You can become attracted to somebody as friend as well as any, that is also attractive. Uh, if you think of some person that this man is my enemy, I want to kill him, or I want to do some harm to him, how I shall do, how shall I capture him, he goes on the office, on the road, so I can capture him in that way. So many ways. Just like in America, the President Kennedy was killed. So the man who killed him, he made it a plan, thinking of President Kennedy always. There is attraction. All attractive means, therefore, that Krishna is attractive to everyone, either one is Krishna's devotee or non-devotee. <clears throat> the best example is uh, Kamsa. Kamsa heard that his, the eighth son of his sister, Devaki, would kill him. Since that time he became attracted to Krishna. So somebody is coming in the name of Krishna as my sister's eighth son. So he would kill me. So let me kill my sister, the source of Krishna. So he first of all wanted to kill his sister. That is due to attraction of Krishna. He, want, he, he was very kind to his sister. After the marriage of his sister, he was taking very jubilantly his sister and his brother-in-law in a chariot, and he was personally driving, because Devaki happened to be younger sister of Kansa. Naturally, everyone has got some love for younger brother and sister. So he was affectionate, uh, although he was a devotee, a non-devotee demon, still natural attraction one cannot avoid. Just like a tiger. Tiger is killer of everyone, but still the tiger or the tigress has got affection for the cubs. That is natural. So, he had the natural attraction for his sister, 
But when he heard that his sister would be the killer of him, he immediately wanted to kill the sister. That story you know, it is stated in the Krishna book beginning. So the idea is Sattam Param Dhimai Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva. So Vyasadeva is offering his uh, obeisances to the son of Devaki, uh, Krishna. Uh, Krishna means all attacks. Uh, then, read, what is next? Obeisances unto the personality of Godhead, Vasudeva, directly indicates Lord Sri Krishna, who is the divine son of Vasudeva and Devaki. This fact will be more explicitly explained in the text of this work. Sri Vyasadeva asserts herein that Sri Krishna is the original personality of Godhead, and all others are his direct or indirect plenary portions or portions of the portions. Yes, this is the explanation. And the third chapter, or fourth chapter, third chapter of this Srimad Bhagavatam first canto, when describing a different incarnation, so in that list of different incarnations, Krishna's name is also there. So Vyasadeva has purposefully explained in that verse that there are so many incarnations. It has been described that the uh, Krishna God has got so many incarnations, just like so many waves of the river. If you have got some experience of the flowing river, you'll find that so many waves are coming one after another, one after another. So he has got so many incarnations that you cannot count you. It's like if you sit down on the bank of a river and go on counting the waves, and so whole day and night, whole year, whole life, it still is in other Therefore, Krishna's another name is Ananta. Ananta means who has no end. Ananta. Anta means end. Everything of us, there is end. But Krishna has no end. Similarly, his incarnation has no end. So, in spite of so many incarnations, he is full. If we take and try to understand Krishna materially, that just like if you take some from some stock, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that, uh, then the stock will be finished at a certain point. Krishna is not like that. Uh, Purnam, the Veda says, Krishna is Purnam, complete. What, what kind of Purnam? We understand also complete. Uh, but if we want to take something from the complete, gradually it, it is reduced and ultimately it becomes zero. So Krishna is not like that. There is Veda says the Purnasa Purnamadaya Purnameva Abhishyate. He completes uh, so many incarnations are coming from him, just like the waves of the river. He still is complete. Purnasa Purnasa. From original Krishna, so many incarnations are coming. But uh, still he is there. In the Brahma Sangita, it is stated that 
गोलोक एव निवसति अखिलात्म भूत कृष्णा लिव एट इज होम गोलोक बिंदा कृष्णा इज इन गोलोक वृंदावन स्टिल ही इमेनेट ही एक्सपैंड हिमसेल अखिलात्म भूत अखिलात्म भूत थ्रू आउट दी होल क्रिएट ही हैज क्रिएशन दैट इज ऑल्सो यूनि मैन यू आर वी आर सीइंग दिस क्रिएशन दिस यूनिवर्स there are innumerable planets uh, but uh okilatma uh, bhuto in everywhere krishna is there he still is existing in his own abode we cannot imagine because we have not such experience the fact uh we are sitting in this room we are not sitting in the other room try to understand the distinction between krishna and our but krishna is here and he is not only in other room other building other city other universe everywhere that is krishna uh it is stated not that we are imagining because we take evidence from the vedic literature In the Brahma Sangita, it is stated like that: "Eka pasura chaye tum jagadan koti, jachati rasti jagadan chaya jagadan tam, anna antarastam paramanu chaya antarastam govindam adi purusham tamangmaya." One portion of Krishna. Krishna has direct expansion. an expansion of the expand just like krishna he is immediate expansion is baladev balaram then from balaram the next expansion is chaturbhuja ha uh, kwadupu sankarshan vasudev anuruddha prabhu again from the shankar sun there is another expansion narayan from narayan there is another expansion ah uh, again second status of shankar sun vasudev only not only one narayan but innumerable narayan because in the vaikuntha loka spiritual sky there are innumerable planets how many Now just imagine here in this universe there are planets. This is one universe. There are millions of planets. You cannot count. Uh, you cannot count. So similarly, there are innumerable universes also. That also you cannot count. Still, all these universes taken together. is only one fourth manifestation of krishna's expansion so in the vaikuntha law there is three fourth expansion so we cannot count even one planet uh, how many krishna's expansion is there because he is anantarasam paramanusha antarasam he is within the atom also the scientists are perplexed to analyze one atom more and more than finding component so krishna that for his name is anant advaita achyate ananta anadi ananta roopam he has got multi forms multi form So as they will explain in the third chapter, although he has got all these multi forms, nobody is lesser than Krishna. But still, that Krishna, the name which appears in this list, 
ही इज दी सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी और ये थी चांद सकला पुंस कृष्ण सु भगवान सम ऑल अदर इनकारनेशन एज मेंशन इन दिस लिस्ट दे आर अंश कला दे आर डायरेक्टली एक्सपेंशन और एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द एक्सपेंशन एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द एक्सपेंशन सो दिस इज नो लिमिट दैट इज कृष्ण दिस लाइक कृष्ण is in this temple in other temples also krishna is there not that because in this temple krishna is there he is finished just that like we are present in this room not in other room we are finished this one room finish krishna is not like that try to understand krishna therefore bhagavat is trying to inform you About Krishna, beginning Janmad Dasyata, Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudeva. Vasude uh, Krishna, I offer you. Now, what kind of Vasude? Janmad Dasyata. From whom everything is there? What is that everything? Means, but. Sustenance and death. Everything we can understand. Any material object we can understand by these three symptoms. Just like your body, my body, or everyone's body. It has got a date of birth. It continues to live for some time, and there is end. That is called Janma Adi. Janma Adi. First of all. But then sustenance and uh, this is three samadhi. But actually there are six. Uh, six is a but then living for some time, then growth, then uh, producing something uh, out of the body, and then dwindling, then finish. Uh, Every body. Everybody, it takes birth, then remains for some time, grows also or changes different body, and then from the body some other bodies are also come out. In this way, one becomes old. That means dwindling, and one day will come he will finish. Sarvika, uh, these kind, these are called six kinds of transformation. Any material thing you can take. Uh, six kinds of transformation, but Krishna has not such transformation. Uh, therefore, he is not of this body. His body is mentioned in the Shastra, Sachidananda Vigraha. Uh, so anyone accepting Krishna like ordinary man, then he is a rascal. अब जानती मान मूढ़ा मान सिंतन मास्तर कृष्ण से लेने रास्केल ओनली दे टेक मी एस ए ह्यूमन बीइंग डिटेक इन ग्रेट रास्केल स्कॉलर ही एस मेंशन पर हाज कृष्ण वाज द लीडर ऑफ एन अबोर्डिंग एंड He has been accepted as God. Okay. <clears throat> so we cannot study Krishna in that way from the full sense of things. We have to know Krishna from authority. Just like Basavi is explaining, what is Krishna? First of all, let us understand what is Krishna. Then uh, we enter into the Other information of Krishna. Well, it's like if you want to know somebody, you have to acquaint himself with that particular person. Then gradually you can understand that this man is of this position. His financial strength is like this. His influence is like this, like that, like that. So many things you understand. First of all, some man. 
So anyone who does not know what is God and what is uh, my relationship, he, relationship later on, first of all at least we must know what is God. Then we can speak something about God. If I do not know what is God, then how you can explain, how you can understand about Him? So that is the defect. Uh, actually, you search out uh, all process of understanding God. Generally, religion means the process of understanding God. That is religion. Religion without God is just like Hamlet without Hamlet, playwright Hamlet. Religion cannot be without God, the so-called religion, that is cheating. That is, it will be explained in the next part. Dharma prodhita koita bhavata. Any kind of religion which is going on under the name of religion, but the system has no information of God, that is cheating. Cheating. Because religion means the laws of God. But if you do not know uh, what is God, then uh, how you can know His laws? If you do not know the King, how you can understand the King's laws? Even though you try to understand, that's the scientists, they are trying to understand the laws of God. But because they are imperfect, therefore they cannot uh, understand what is God, in spite of their scientific uh, improvement. They do not ask any scientist, your great scientist, uh, can you say what is God? The reply will be, no, we don't believe in God. We don't believe. Why? Uh, you believe in the laws of God, yes, that you are studying, but the laws mean somebody has made that law. That is our experience. It's like when we uh, understand government laws, we understand also the government has enacted this law. Uh, we understand that. It's like on the street, when you go, it is written there, keep to the left, it is the order of the government. You have to abide by that. Uh, that is obedience to the government. Uh, discipline. Discipline is the first law of obedience. If people do not care for the government laws, then there will be chaos. So the present situation is the so-called uh, modern civilization. They have no knowledge of God. Although they are trying to study the laws of God, uh, but they should accept, at least theoretically, there must be God. How I can say God is dead? Uh, because if God is the lawgiver, by His order everything is moving nicely. The sun is rising exactly at the time. The moon is rising exactly at the time. The seasonal changes are taking place exactly in due course of time. Everything is going on. Foods are grown, grown for our feeding, for animals. Everything is going on nicely. So how I can say the manager who is managing all this thing is dead? How can I say? These, these are uh, imperfect knowledge or demonic knowledge or askeldom. So our Krishna consciousness movement is against all these raskeldam. All this is. We present here is God. Here is God. His name, take his name, take his address also. <laughs> that is our supervision. It is so perfect. Uh, they are searching after God. We are giving. 
the name, address, activity, everything, quality, ha. Ah. Naam, Roop, Lila, Parikar, Vaisishta, everything. Naam means name. Here is name, Krishna, God's name. Form, here is the form. He is engaged in enjoyment with Avarani and playing on his flute. Venum kannantam maravindra dalaya dakshan vara. We are not imagining, not that there's the artist imagining, the poet imagining. No, no. We don't do that as tell them. We don't do that. We take information from the Vedas. Uh, Krishna, when he was present personally, he played on his flute. The gopi saw and the Kavasma saw five thousand years ago, and the Acharyas took information uh, that even if you don't believe in the history, then come to Shastra. The Shastra says, Venum kannantam aravinda dalayataksham. Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is always engaged in playing on his flute. This is Vedic statement. Venum kannantam aravinda dalayataksham. His eyes are just like lotus petals. Venum kannantam aravinda dalayataksham. Barahavatam samasitam madhusandaram. He has got a peacock feather on his head. <laughs> These are the description in the Vedas. Uh, he has got a peacock feather on his head. Barahavatam uh, samasitam madhusandaram. His collar is blackish. Uh, what kind of black is? Masitam madha. Just like a new cloud. Uh, Masidam Sundarangam. But don't think because he's black is he's not beautiful. He's most beautiful. Ah. How much beautiful? Kanda Pakoti Kamaniyam is Esasobam. He's so beautiful that if you gather uh, millions of cupids, he's still is more beautiful. These descriptions are there. So, Krishna consciousness movement is very nice. Uh, he'll be able to understand what is God. And he'll be able to understand what is your relationship with God. And he'll be able to understand how you can go back to home, back to God. Thank you. <laughs>